Today we will discuss what is the difference between the plinth beam and the ground beam. So first of all in this column I would like to discuss about the plinth beam. Plinth beam is generally a framed structure. It is a frame structure which is provided at ground level. We provide plinth beam at ground level. It is also known as tie beam or we can call it as tie beam because it binds the column. It reduces it reduces the length of column. It reduces length of column and slenderness ratio so plinth beam is also called the tie beam because of its frame structure and it is constructed at ground level and it does not carry any slab load not carry any slab load not carry any slab load and to design to carry its own self weight masonry load above the plinth beam the plinth beam need to be strong but need not to be made up of reinforced concrete all the time if you see this is the important point plinth beam needs to be strong but need not to be made up of reinforced uh, cement concrete all the time. Now the main question comes why plinth beams are provided. Why we provide plinth beams to avoid avoid differential settlement we have to avoid differential settlement this is the first point to maintain plinth plane proper I'm writing down here plinth plane proper to make the plinth plane proper we provide plinth beams and to avoid difficulties in construction of walls and to connect all the columns if depth of foundation is high so uh, plinth beam provide for these type of reasons now we will come under ground beam this is the theoretical part uh, further we will go in this session I will show you in the pictures also the difference between the plinth beam and the ground beam so now move on to ground beam so ground beam is very common it is pro constructed or provided at constructed you can say at foundation level at the very beginning of the starting uh, the beam you provide in the foundation uh, is known as the ground beam it supports it supports what it supports it support walls or you can say joist and if the soil is subgrade having poor bearing capacity if the soil bearing capacity is poor then we it act as a uh, supporting function for the walls and joist it is mainly reinforced concrete beam it is mainly mainly reinforced reinforced cement concrete beam this is the very most important part 
and why ground beam is provided next question why we provide ground beams to prevent settlement of wall first point to prevent settlement of wall and the second point is to indirectly increase the soil bearing capacity to increase the soil bearing capacity we use ground beam now this is theoretical theoretical part now we will come up to the picture spot in which you can see the clear differentiation between the plain beam and the ground beam now i will show you in the picture the ground beam if you see from here this is the ground beam this if i'm talking about this part and this whole uh, reinforced concrete beam at the foundation level this we call as if you say this we will call as the ground beam this is the beam at the foundation level now you will see this is the plinth beam at this level if we talk about this level this is the plinth beam as you can see i'm showing in the arrow indication this is the plinth beam this is upper part and this foundation level the ground beam is supported on which this column is resting so in these two pictures i hope you have cleared the idea what is the plinth beam and the ground beam